Before the time of Dragon Ball Z, a great warrior was about to be born. According to the legends, Chi Chi the Ox Goddess had enticed Goku the Monkey King with a new sort of training. She had told him that he would one day gain the powers to one day defeat the gods. His power pool was able to reach vast lengths greater than ever before. She had trained him and demonstrated to him the power of the fusion dance. Then like a nimbus cloud, he had rolled her automatically with pure intentions in his good heart. They say in the climax of the battle, Goku was nearly defeated. The might of Chi Chi was too strong for the young king. Goku had gathered the remnants of his last remaining strength and asked for the energy of all his comrades nearby. And by gathering said power, he was able to unleash a powerful spirit bomb quicker than any instant transmission technique ever done before. done before. After defeating the strong and mighty Chi Chi, he had blessed her with a sensu beam to recuperate from her wounds. Such a valiant act from a king himself. It was because of this that the boy named Son Gohan was able to be born. And one day, this boy named Son Gohan would one day save the universe. Stop the cap! Gohan is not that guy, man. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, he's a trash character. I will agree with you for sure that at one point in, at one point in his life, at one point in my life when I was watching this guy, he was sick. But like now, like, I can't help but just feel disappointed for this guy. And here's my key reason why. And, and it's honestly just because he didn't live up to his full potential, man. That's all I'm saying. He just didn't live up to his full potential and therefore it made him a mediocre character. You know, I used to be so happy about the hype about this character one day becoming the strongest character, and he was. But not anymore, man. Not anymore. At a young age, Gohan has always wanted to follow his own path. Realistically, he didn't want to practice or fight like his father. He didn't want to become a martial artist. But in my opinion, this kind of cheapened his character. This kind of backfired on him because now every single time I look at Gohan now, I really do believe he's a subpar scene. And what's up family, thanks again for reaching another episode of Northbound Anime, and if you haven't done so, please like, share, and subscribe to the video. Please help a brother out on Kami, please put me through the algorithm so you know people can view my, my videos. Because without you guys, I really can't do diddly fam, but you know, I'm still going to make these videos, we don't stop that. Now, today's topic, if you haven't guessed it, we're going to be talking about Gohan, the mediocre saying fam. The mediocre saying. <laughs> I understand that 80%, maybe 100% of you guys are triggered, but I need you guys just to listen. I need I need your full attention here. I need you guys to listen and not just hear, fam. Listen, Gohan is literally the Yamcha of Saints. Gohan is literally the Yamcha of Saints. Gohan is literally the Yamcha of Saints. Whoopsies! And I'm saying this because, listen, he failed to live up to his full potential, bro. I understand that Gohan has gone through different things in his life. Trust me. I understand he finds other things important. He, he has a profession. He has a job. He has a family that he's invested in. But let's keep it a stack. When I needed him, matter of fact, when we all needed him, he vanished. No avatar. We all know that Gohan is arguably considered the best fighter on earth in Dragon Ball Z. Especially when he got his ultimate form after participating in that ritual done by Elder Kai. I'm not denying that. But we could also say this guy just got a lap dance from an old man and did no fucking training. Took no effort for him to get that ultimate form. That's bullshit. Listen, I agree with you. He, at one point, was stronger than Goku, Vegeta, and Majin Buu, the heavy hitters of the universe. There is absolutely no reason why I would argue. But, like, I'm not going to sit here and act like he did not fumble the bag, fam. I'm not going to sit here and act like he wasn't arrogant, fam. I'm not going to sit here and act like he did not overestimate his abilities. Especially during the Majin Buu arc, bro. Come on. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Okay, look at this guy. Gohan is ready. I can't even count. Gohan was looking really hard. Like, as soon as he came and got his ultimate form and was ready to fight Boo, he was looking tough. Boo wants that fade, though. Don't get it twisted. Gohan's moving like, I don't want to beat you. I want to kill you. What? What? Now I ain't going to count. Loki, this was pretty hard. Like, when Gohan said this line, I was like, oh my god. Shit is about to go down, fam. What? Yo, chill Gohan, bro. You're acting too confident. Look at that smirk, though. If, it, if that doesn't scream confidence, though, like, I, I don't know what does. 
A few moments later. What happened? Why are you running? Why are you running? You see what happens when you talk too much shit, bro? This how you know Gohan hasn't been punched in the face enough times. Clearly the freezer arc wasn't that, bro. You got too cocky off the cell arc. You were running off that high still. Bro, let me tell you, this made no sense to me. Tell me how Boo absorbs Gotenks and all of a sudden, Gohan can kick this guy, bro. Yo, Majin Boo was literally 8 feet standing tall, bro. Gohan was 5'11", fam. That doesn't make sense. Boo literally had one piece height, fam. At, <laughs> still mad, bro. This is where he fumbled the bag. I know you guys remember this. I was salty too, fam. This could have been another dub. This guy held you by your legs. This guy was dealing with you like a ting, bro. Gohan, are you holding that? Bro, Piccolo was disappointed in you. This guy tossed you like a ragdoll, bro. He was handling you like a ting, bro. Yo, Boo actually fucked this guy, bro. Can't touch this. Gear, 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 gear. Bro, this guy said, off with your head. This guy said, this could have been your head top. What? That's so disrespectful. This guy grabbed you by your neck like a ting, bro. This guy really fucked you. Kiss him. This guy puts you to sleep, dog. Yo, wait. Does this look familiar? Whoopsies! His mind was not in the game. Bro, and you know why? It's because he did not train hard enough. And now that he's not training at all, the funny thing is, people who dub Krillin, Krillin can give him a run for his money, fam, in Dragon Ball Super. This guy disrespected Krillin in Dragon Ball Super, bro, and Krillin can give him a run for his money, bro. That is pathetic. I know you guys saw that weak-ass display of a fight, bro. I know you guys saw that weak-ass display of a fight in Dragon Ball Super. He's not that guy anymore. Instead of being a martial artist, he's a 9-to-5 man. He's a working man. I'm proud of him. But this supports my... My argument that the Chi Chi factor really got him. Nigga, did I catch you having fun? Did I catch you saving the world? Get your ass back in the books. What I'm saying is because of the Chi Chi factor, he has lost his original drive. He has lost his ambition. And his power levels have significantly dropped because of it. He's a 9 to 5 man. Any athlete will tell you this. You either use it or you lose it, fam. That's a fact. And because he's not back in the gym anymore, he can't properly utilize his key. He can't properly fight anymore. And yo... He can't use any of his techniques properly anymore. He's forgotten how to fight properly. You know, his centers are lacking. Now his strength is lacking, bro. It's it's unfortunate. And, and I like to gas him up because we know he's a hybrid. We know that he's technically stronger than any pure blood Saiyan. This was stated when Vegeta and Nappa showed up during the Saiyan arc. They had noticed that he was a mutation. They even thought about mating with the Earthlings to repopulate the Saiyan race. But you want to know why they stopped? Do you really want to know why they stopped? Because they realized the potential threat of hybrid fucking breeds, bro. Because their power might be too dangerous, bro. And listen, we got Trunks, Gohan, and Goten to support said fact. Like, with Gohan specifically, though, he has repeatedly demonstrated a hidden potential. And when he used it, he was stronger than Goku and Vegeta. Once again, I, I agree with you. Listen, he was able to transform into Super Saiyan faster than these niggas because he had human emotions. He was blessed, fam. He had more Saiyan cells, fam. He was privileged and was able to live in a more gentler environment, fam. Listen, Toriyama has even stated, the more gentle natured a Saiyan is, the more Saiyan cells that that person has. And the more Saiyan cells that you have, the faster you're able to turn into a Super Saiyan. This is why the Saiyans from the 6th universe were able to turn into Super Saiyans like that after they described the tingling to say something on their back. But that's a that's another that's another discussion, bro. But like what I'm trying to say is with all these advantages in place, with all these tools in your utility belt, you couldn't do dog shit other than when you, you were in the cell arc, bro. And I'm not even gonna count in the movies, bro, because you still had help, fam. You even had help in the cell arc. Let's keep it a stack. Listen. Looking at Gohan as a character in the in and out, bro, even though his human side blessed him a lot, it backfired. It really did. Listen, because of his human side, bro, his hunger to reach greater heights was lacking. This is why niggas always caught this guy slipping. Bro, this cheesed me. First off, why is your guard down? Why is your guard down? Put your tools up and duke it out. No, 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 no. This also cheesed me too, bro, during this fight, bro. You are a fucking... Hybrid Super Saiyan, bro, and you couldn't catch an earring? Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. What? You deserve to get absorbed, bro. Like, you honestly deserve to get absorbed. Bro, 
Grow up! Grow up! Grow up! I, I would have been so cheesy if I, was, if I was Goku, bro. And now you can say Goku threw it to her. Nah, fuck that, bro. Fuck that. You have the senses of a super-powered alien. You better step it up when the timing is needed, bro. And then, back again, yo. How did you let Frieza literally shoot you with lasers, bro, like this? Come on, bro. Did you not improve? You're a Saiyan. He's afraid of Saiyans. Fuck, 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 bro. This guy was Takashi 6 9 with the bullet. Hang, 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 hang. Bro, in the name of the Lord, bro, let, let's take this in. Let me just tell you guys this. This guy literally, this guy spit on you, bro. I don't know if you guys have seen that recent clip of the pastor spitting on a man and then wiping his face on it. In the name of the Lord, bro, if a man, if a pastor, if a preacher, if a deacon ever took their saliva-filled hands and put it on me, bro, I'm fighting this guy in the name of the Lord, bro. I'm sending this guy to heaven or hell. He never really wanted to fight, bro. He never enjoyed fighting. The only time you were able to get this guy to really fight is when his life was in jeopardy or when his mentor pushed him, bro. Like... And we saw what happened with Piccolo, like, listen, Piccolo managed to get this guy to train by isolating himself and keeping him to himself with no supplies. And literally his own pops. Goku had to literally provoke this guy constantly. He had to bully this guy until he finally got angry, bro. Until he realized the potential within himself, bro. But you know what? I'm even gonna, I'm, I'm gonna shit on him for the ultimate form because once again, bro, he never earned it and he never practiced to get the maximum form. So therefore, he never respected it as much. He never valued it as much. Listen, listen. He's an intellectual. It allows him to think a little bit smarter when he's fighting. But just like Wiz said to Vegeta, it doesn't matter because thinking too much is a problem in itself. And it doesn't matter if you're stacked up against a guy that has raw destructive power. He's not doing that with the Vegeta that has ultra ego. If Krillin is taking you down, barely go using his full strength, I don't want to hear it. He's not doing that to Brawly. What I'm telling you is, he's getting washed, bro. What I'm telling you is, bro, he's just simply wasting his Saiyan blood, bro. It's like when you see a super tall guy, and you find out that this guy doesn't play any sports, bro. You're wasting your effing hype, fam. Grow up. Grow the fuck up, bro. Like, now he's dead ass just a human, bro. Like, I'm... I, I can't even call this guy a Super Saiyan, bro. He's a subpar Saiyan, bro. Subpar Saiyan mode one, bro. His human side gets in the way too much, bro. Like, isn't that crazy to you? This guy that was literally hyped up that was considered the strongest warrior fam, does nothing after after the Cell arc fam. Like, okay, let's use Superboy as an example. There's a reason why he has boy in his damn name, because he will never be as strong as the man. What I'm trying to say is, his human side has affected him so much, he can honestly never be as strong as Goku and Vegeta anymore. That's what I'm saying. I'm claiming that right now. And because of his human side, listen, he's already reached his physical peak, bro. Puberty is done for the boy dumb, fam. Gohan has already reached his peak potential in terms of body composition. You get what I'm saying? Like, am I lying, though? Like, we, we've seen him age in Dragon Ball GT, fam. Like, he's damn near looks older than his fucking dad sometimes, bro. Listen. <clears throat> okay, you know what? I, I've been talking too much shit. I'm not entirely disqualifying Gohan because he did say that he's trying to create a form that has never been seen before. I'm not... He, he did say this in the Tournament of Power arc, but I'm not so sure if it was said in the anime, but I know he said it in the... I know he said it in the manga. Listen, I, I'm just disappointed once again because he was hyped up to be the best character in Dragon Ball Z. We saw his potential. We saw the hints. All the way from the Saiyan arc all the way to the Cell arc. And his potential finally blossomed into a Super Saiyan 2 mode that everyone, in con considering myself... Was impressed. I was happy. He was that guy. But after that time skip, once we seen him grow up a little bit, after he reached the Boo arc, and now, the, now what we've seen in Dragon Ball Super, bro, it's like, bro, I, I can't help but just be disappointed. Like, bro, he's pathetic. And you can blame it on the writers, but listen, I'm just based, I'm just judging him based off what I've seen from Dragon Ball Super and all the anime. He's not that guy anymore. Mads even have the audacity to tell me he's as strong as Android 17. But listen, I have to see it to believe it. Until then, all those claims are ifs, maybes, and no absolutes, fam. It's a sad thing still. Like, listen, I can't sit here and say he's a strong character when I know, when I see him not putting in the work himself, bro. I'm not giving this guy a participation trophy. The fuck do I look like, bro? Nothing in life is given. It's only earned. And until he puts in the work, bro, he's mediocre. He's dookie. He's trash, bro. He's garbage. He's not even recyclable, fam. He gets sent to a landfill to never be used again, fam. This is why he is not the strongest. Because I want to know why he doesn't even want to be the strongest, bro. That's all I'm saying. So based on the ideas that I've covered, bro, I'm, I'm going to say it again.
He's mediocre. He's trash. But you know what? Let me know what you think, bro. Let me know what you guys think in the comms, bro. All I'm saying is, yo, just share, subscribe, like the video, bro. Put me in the algorithm. That's all, that's all I'm saying. And I'm gonna say this once again, bro. He's trash.